So we've looked at adding water across the alkene. Now we'll look at adding an alcohol across the alkene, and specifically in this case, methanol. And we'll find out we're going to add H and OCH3 specifically across this alkene. Uh, this is also acid catalyzed, and the mechanism is exactly analogous to what we saw with acid catalyzed hydration. So in this case, we're going to have, instead of hydronium, we're going to have, instead of which is protonated water, we're going to have protonated alcohol in this case. That we'll start with. So H2S4 will dissociate completely in our alcohol. So, and we're going to come and our pi electrons again are our nucleophile. So instead of hydronium being our electrophile, this protonated alcohol is our electrophile, and we're going to come and attack it in step one. So, and that will end up on the less substituted side, giving us the more substituted, more stable carbocation. So, one thing to note the intermediate here is definitely a carbocation. It is subject to rearrangements. It's not going to in this case. Uh, but that would be the case, and then our alcohol is going to come back and, in this case, attack our carbocation. But it, why don't we just draw another one since we formed another molecule of our alcohol? And again, we'll come and attack our carbocation. And when he attacks, the H and the CH3 are both still bonded there, and we form. A molecule here, or an ion in this case, maybe, uh, have an oxygen with three bonds and a positive charge. We'll never finish off a reaction like that. And whenever you end up with that situation, you're not done. You're just at an intermediate, and you draw in another molecule of the solvent and ha do a proton transfer, have it deprotonate that species. So this thing, again, strongly acidic, just like H3O plus is, and we'll deprotonate it. And that'll get us our final product here. So again, we added an H to the less substituted side, we added the OCH3 to the more substituted side, and in this case, we did not form a single chiral center, so we're just going to get a single achiral product. So, but going through a carbocation here, this does not have any stereospecificity whatsoever. Uh, and again, Markovnikov, no stereospecificity, but it, the intermediate is a carbocation, this is that third reaction where you do have to worry about rearrangements.